Hi guys, uh, my name is Balu. I'm the co-founder and CEO of uh, Bising Fashion that owns ethnigo.com and ethnicsmart.com. Uh, most of you would have seen me or interacted with me over call or uh, you would have walked into our Surat office and you would have met, met me. So I'm happy for that. Right now I thought of uh, making a short video based on the current situation and the problems that you guys are facing and so are we facing with respect to the COVID situation. So I'll just uh, summarize on few points that will help you, that will help us. First uh, I'll just discuss on the statuses that we have, the current market condition in Surat. Few markets are in and out of the containment zone, sometimes the uh, municipality people come and uh, seal off a particular market and then probably the next day or in maybe two or three days they reopen it back again. Similarly there are uh, odd even schedules in the market, few shops are open today and they are not permitted to open tomorrow, instead they have to open on the day after tomorrow. So that odd even schedules follow in the market. And uh, for us, you know, our, our market, our shop is in, in Golden Plaza, that is like one kilometer far from the main trading area. So we do not have any restriction, but the office hours has to be curved between 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And currently, 70 percentage, including me, you know, I'm also working from home, and uh, only the dispatch people, only the uh, shipment, uh, the QC checking people are in office. And not all people can go to office also, we have to have a revised count, a reduced count uh, that can attend to daily office uh, hours. The remaining people, you know, the sales people, the uh, marketing, the customer service uh, relations people and all the other top executives, you know, all of them are working from home. And uh, because people are working from home, we are facing some, some uh, see, the normal bottleneck related with the internet, the connectivity issues uh, sometimes because in office we have high speed internet whereas when you when people are working from home they have to use the uh, the what you call it, the hotspot or, or this smaller uh, home based broadband system etc. So that is not that fast and uh, probably this is the reason wherein we had to restrict the number of calls that we can take on a daily basis earlier when all of them were in office, either in Cochin office or in Surat office, we were able to transfer calls to the person who is having lesser load and thereby uh, maintain that equilibrium. Now when people are working from home, the transferring, the call transfer option is not available. So and maximum, you know, any, any humanly uh, maximum the number of calls including me I can take is probably around uh, 100 and 150 maximum you know by by that time you you will end up uh, being totally uh, tired in the evening and now uh, what we are seeing is that there is a huge boost in online uh, uh, the enquiries and the website you know we are seeing close to 600 percentage improvements you know six times more traffic on the website and more downloads image downloads and um, the number of enquiries also has increased. You know, the enquiries has not increased sixfold. Uh, I would say around uh, 200 percent, two times or two and a half times more. So we used to get around say 50 or 60 or 70 queries per day. Now that has gone up to 150 or 200 queries a day. So that is the current situation. And uh, for that same same uh, problem, we had to restrict our contact numbers on the website. Now all our old customers they are pretty much aware on the uh, contact numbers that we are having we have already we we would have interacted multiple times so you are aware of that but for the new customers you know currently the outbound uh, communication that we are doing is only for free booked orders you know the general inquiry currently we are unable to take general inquiries because of the uh, limited resource uh, condition. Now once the situation improves, when once we can bring back all these people back to the office, we will be able to display the website with the, the contact numbers on the website and you will be able to interact with us seamlessly. Now the shipment side, uh, yes, I heard a uh, few of the customers asking, you know, if the mainline courier companies are not available, why don't you do with some other X courier or Y courier? 
now i'll tell you the reason in surat there is a huge data theft you know wherein people just steal the contact numbers and the address of the customers now we are having so much importance on the data of our customer you know we don't give give out the data to anybody now we cannot provide a shipment or we cannot give to a new shipping company without our nd agreement that being said you know if we cannot do the over the courier shipment now if we do the over the courier shipment the problem is that if they are stealing the data that will create a lot of problem further problems for the customers you know it keeps happening in surat uh, i have been victim to that in in, in fact uh, one of the person actually contacted uh, looking at this uh, contact number you know accidentally contacted me saying that do you want to get updates from me i i i am um, i can provide you like uh, uh, something else x and y and i i for that sake i just enquired the background check i just did and i came to know that they are a fraudulent team now this is what happens with the data that for the same reason we will only stick with the courier companies that are having a higher trust base and who have signed an nda with us the non disclosure agreement with us in that we need to have in a legal legal writing so that the data is not uh, stolen or misused now for that same reason since fedex and blue dot are facing some uh, technical challenges we are relying on india post to do all the shipments the advantage with india post is that there will not be any data theft, data theft that i can guarantee because it is a government service it is a reputed service and it has been here for say probably around 200 years probably and secondary uh, we are doing it through a registered parcel system wherein the chances of some parcel going uh, stolen or not the customer not getting a parcel are very 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 minute that uh, Uh, is is why we are sending through registered post postal now there is a demerit to that india post is a slightly slower service earlier before the covid situation so they used to take around 5 uh, 10 days to reach from surat to, to surat to say chennai they used to take 10 days and from say surat to uh, hyderabad they used to take 6 days surat to mumbai they used to take 3 uh, days and uh, surat to jammu Uh, the india post parcel usually take 20 days surat to assam they again take around 18 days that is the pre covid um, sla the the eta the, the time around that they take for a delivery of the parcel now after the covid situation what we are seeing is that the delay definitely would increase uh, primarily because few stations are in and out of containment zone and uh, that will create a total total problem say if if it used to take 5 days now it could take anywhere up to 8 to 10 days so you have to increase uh, the timeline say from additional 60 or 70 percent so you just multiply into 170 percent or or probably 1.8 or 1.9 you'll be able to get a revised estimate now th- that being said uh, few new customers who are asking as you they were asking as you know you guys are fake you guys are uh, fraud see one thing i would like to tell you guys you know we have been operating here for 9 years this is our 9th year running in fact and i really don't personally you know i don't really like people calling us a fake or a fraud the reason is because we put all our effort you know even though we are having people who are working around 8 or 9 different locations right now uh, the coordination effort the what do you call the, the the getting into consensus and getting into an arrangement right now we are facing difficulty but we are not fake we are not fraud you can check with anybody in surat market the reputation that we have in serving the customers and uh, having the deal with the suppliers and the manufacturers are we, we keep a lot of value in those relationship the new customers i totally agree Uh, they would feel like that because the response rates are less earlier we used to take say 10 minutes or 20 minutes to attend to a query now the latest that we can attend to right now would be say 1 hour now that being said uh, this is a short phase you know i'll, I'll just talk about the opportunity also here 
right now what we are seeing is that this is a temporary phase that is going to last anyway between 3 to 6 months more there is a lot of uncertainty few locations are getting into the containment zone or getting into the red, red zone or red spot and few of them are moving out you know that creates a logistical disadvantage right now but once the situation settles down I'll tell you how it is advantageous for you the big businesses in your area you know primarily we were into supporting the small businesses so that they can they can take on the big businesses in their locality uh, and uh, have have probably challenge them with the uh, businesses or with the collection of products that you have so that that was our motto you know to help people start a small business uh, a small textile <coughs> shop etc now the current situation it as it is giving the same problem to all of them so if you are a small person you are having a small business you so as well as the person who is running a big textile shop or a textile what do you say multi-floored um, supermarket style of textile uh, business are facing the same problem <clears throat> now how fast you can turn around is what is going to keep you in the business from now so probably once the situation just uh, settles down if you are able to provide a better range of collection <clears throat> and uh, able to provide a better kind of service to your customers probably you can fare much better than the big businesses nearby and also we are seeing an online boom the booms uh, is mainly because people prefer to shop from home so you most of you would be whatsapp sellers or uh, facebook sellers and probably few of them would be having a website of their own right now it might be total chaos total confusion but probably in the next three or four months you can see <coughs> the uh, the demand surging ahead and thirdly people now prefer to travel very less so that is coming into an advantage because people would like to sit at home and get the things uh, ordered uh, so what we are trying to do right now is that we have a mainline wholesale uh, website which is ethnicsmart.com where you can buy wholesale products at wholesale rates and uh, that can be priced around 60 to 80 percentage higher and you can sell it on the retail network now we had started a retail store also retail online store ethnigo.com in the month of march the women's day basically and probably after that the, the covid lockdown came into effect so we were not able to market that or uh, get that into the true potential but what i am suggesting is that once the situation settles down we would be able to give you that opportunity to sell with us you know most of the retail sellers will be able to sell their product on our platform and the basically the customers that we uh, bring in and uh, that will actually give you a lot of mileage the all the risks are going to be taken by us you just have to list the product and get it shipped so that is what i had to provide uh, a small update here you can drop comments here or you can directly reach out to me uh, I'll, I'll send you my mail id and also the contact number and uh, all of you stay safe let the situation just pass just wait for it we are also waiting for the situation to just normalize um, and uh, uh, the new customers probably i would ask the new customers to be just just calm down a little bit because uh, see w what is happening right now is that uh, we used to see people giving us five star uh, four star for the performances that we did over the period of last uh, uh, nine years definitely and right now what we are seeing is that people are giving us a one star saying that your service is not up to mark I, I, I totally agree to that you know if I were a customer also I would have rated a one star only but that is not the true reflection of what we are currently uh, a lot of things are uh, into total uh, chaos and uh, once that settles down you know situation will be better we will be able to bring in more support and we will be able to answer out all your queries till then please thank you